Olga, my dear, I knew you would be coming sooner or later. Huh? How, how do you know my name? It's certainly been a long time, hasn't it? I can't quite remember how many years has it been since last I saw you. It feels like it could have been only yesterday, but I suppose it also could have been hundreds of years ago. You know her? No, I don't. I'm sorry, have we met somewhere before? Not somewhere, my dear. We've met before right here in this very place. Because you're the only person who can draw a fortune here. We met here? But this is the first time I've ever been to this place. Excuse me, ma'am. But how is it that you know about me? My dear, I'm afraid you wouldn't understand even if I explained it to you. And even if you knew everything, you cannot change fate now. And I see you arrived here right on schedule. I suppose you must not have encountered any particular trouble this time. Oh my. Well now, what have we here? I never expected to see you here. Uh, ma'am? You mind explaining what you're doing here in the first place? I mean, don't tell me that waiting here for Polka to show up is all you ever do. First, Polka is going to draw a fortune of bad luck. Wait, you actually know what fortune she's going to draw before she does it? Yes, I know very well. You see, my job is to witness whether or not she ties that fortune to the sacred tree. The sacred tree? The tree standing right behind this fortune-telling hut. Its real name is the Cello Tree. It has stood on this land for thousands and thousands of years. For the tree, it's as if time is always standing still, for it never grows any taller, but neither does it ever wither. And that is why the people who live in this land have come to call it the Sacred Tree. They think it blessed because it doesn't age. Now, Polka. Go ahead, draw your fortune. You will know soon enough whether what I have told you is the truth or not. What do you think? Are you gonna do it? This whole thing is kinda weird. I'll do it. I'll draw one. There's no way she could know what I'm gonna draw before I do it. That doesn't make any sense. No one knows what they're gonna get before they draw. That's why people can have hope for the future. Excellent. Now then, my dear, go over to the sacred tree, and if it is indeed a bad fortune, tie it to one of the branches of the tree. Doing so will drive away the bad luck. Now, as for you, there is no need for you to draw a fortune, is there? I should think not, 
for your destiny lies in a place that is far beyond our reach. Even so, I am fairly certain that we must have you see this part through to the very end. Go with her. Madam, are you saying that following her will somehow decide my fate? Weren't you listening to me? No one of this world could possibly know what your destiny holds. All right. Come on, let's all go. You may not. What? Why not? Because the rest of you are different. You exist within the boundaries of destiny. Boundaries of destiny? Those who exist within the boundaries are not permitted to ever see its form. You're saying that he and Polka are different from us? That is correct. Huh. Yeah, well, I'm not buying it. I want to go too! Dear me, how utterly pointless. Oh, Frederick! The old woman told me I should see this through to the end. Oh, she did? All right then. I'm gonna open it. What's this? But it... it's just blank. And all of the fortunes tied to the tree are bad luck. I wonder... Could a blank one mean what I think it does? That this world really is just my... This is it. This is what I can do to help the world. No matter what, I guess there's no escaping it. What's wrong? Oh man, you opened it up already? Well, what did it say? What is this, a joke? It's blank. Wow, there sure are a lot more up there. Yikes, and all the fortunes are bad luck. Hey, do you think that's why that old lady said she knew what was gonna happen? Anyway, it looks like she was totally wrong when she said that thing about you being the only person who can draw a fortune here. Allegretto, I'm not so sure. What's the matter? Aw, oh, come on, don't take it so seriously. I guess picking a blank fortune is kind of weird. But face it, it's way better than getting a bad luck one. Oh. Hey, let's head back and talk to that old lady again. We can tell her her intuition was 100% wrong. He's right. This isn't a bad luck fortune, not yet. Frederick, I think I should try having faith in this fortune. Things will be different from now on, and I'll wait. I won't resort to that until the last possible moment. So it's all up to me to do something to change this world, something to save Polka. But how? What am I supposed to do?